Hello, welcome to this drum lesson for Mistaken for Strangers by The National. So, great tune this. Um, drum pattern is really cool. Um, it's actually a, a tiny bit easier than it sounds. There's quite a lot of variations going, but we're going to look at sort of the main verse pattern. Um, and kind of break that down. So it's like a two bar phrase, basically. Um, now we're gonna, like when it, when it leads in, it always kind of leads in on the three of the bar before. Um, but we're just gonna take it from beat one. Um, so let's, let's look at the first bar. We've got a floor tom on, on beat one, basically and then a backbeat on beat two. The, the hi-hat pattern is quite sparse as well, so I'll play the first bar and then we'll break it down. A little bit slower. So basically what we're doing there is floor on one, backbeat on two, then two more kicks, two and and three, and then we've got this motif that's happening a lot, which is like uh, a three snare hit, which is happening on three and four and four and. And I'm playing it left, right, left. Da -da -da. Um, it just feels, this does switch around in, at the end, but like, it feels like I, like if you play it right, left, right, I feel like it has a different momentum for me. Um, but it's kind of that kind of quick snap. Da -da -da. It, it, like, and if it's the other way, right, left, right, it kind of sounds different. Um, but you can do it that way. That would be like this. Very minimal different difference. But I like, basically, doing it that way leads you into the next bar, okay? So that bar again, bar one, nice and slowly. Yeah, so after those three hits, you've got another kick drum on the last eighth note of the bar. Uh, and then the second bar, um, we've got a kick on one and, backbeat on two, then kicks on two and and three again, and then another backbeat on three and, which is kind of weird. Um, so um, let's play those two bars together. So yeah, those hi-hats are falling on the second bar. Beat one, and then beat three with the second bass drum, and then beat four, and then another kick drum on the last eighth note. So the second bar, if I can just play the second bar in isolation. That's the second bar. So yeah, that, where are those hi-hats falling? So beat one, and then beat three, and then beat four. For the whole two bar phrase, nice and slow. Actually, it's actually another hi hat on the first bar with the second bass drum on beat beat three. <laughs> so the first bar.
again a bit slower. That's the whole verse, basically. Uh, then we're into the chorus, which is quite nice and simple. Still quite a lot of variations going here, but we're just like really like closed, tight, kind of robotic feel on the hats. Um, and it's just kind of kicks all the way, basically, like this. does these extra every two bars in the first half of the chorus it does um, the two hits uh, on beat four so like four and four and every two bars and then and then towards the end of the chorus we're just doing um we're doing those 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 four hits on four and four and every bar kind of post-chorus bit is that where we're incessantly doing this kind of roll motif thing. So that essentially is basically just the first bar of the verse. Um, kicks on on t beat two, and then the roll on on like three and four and four and. And I kind of like to sort of put it around the toms a little bit. This isn't exactly what he's playing, but it kind of it's kind of what it feels like to me. Um, yeah, and then the the last pattern. It kind of does the same, again, the same feel, but like brings it up to the, the hats for like a 16th note kind of feel of it. Again, still that same kind of backbeat pattern from the verse with with the in the second well the first bar is the same with the two, backbeat on two and then the little roll motif in the second bar um, backbeat on beat two and then on three and um, but yeah interestingly here you have to switch well I I switch I don't know if he does this, um, the little roll motif to start with the right hand because you're doing the 16th notes and you can't begin it with the left hand. So I change that to right, left, right. And what that means basically is that you can get straight back to the hats and you don't really break up that 16th note feel pattern. You're just straight back on. And then you're straight back in. So yeah, that's 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 kind of that that song really. Um, but yeah, it's all focused around that initial verse feel. As I say, there's a few different um, variations but yeah cool pattern um really nice just flows really good okay thanks for watching check out all my other vids and all that stuff like and subscribe if you like it and you like to subscribe then like it and subscribe it bye